Where were you at the time that JFK was assassinated? I was in Chicago, in the loop. What were you doing when JFK was assassinated? I was coming back from lunch. How old were you when JFK was assassinated? I don't know, 34 maybe, 35. How did you find out about the assassination? They had announced it through a public speaker system. So everybody in the downtown area heard it. How did the assassination of JFK affect you? Well, I thought he was an amazing president. I thought he was an amazing person. I felt deep grief. And after the Warren Commission report was released and it was so bogus, I felt a complete lack of trust in my government. How did it affect your family or others around you? My husband was just aggravated because they kept running the news of his death over and over on television and he wanted to watch his racing. My daughter was too young to understand. Do you have a theory on who assassinated JFK? I do have a theory. Right. It involves people that I know, so I don't know that I should share that. What is your opinion on the person who assassinated JFK? Well, my opinion is that Oswald did not assassinate JFK. There was another shooter. The um, Jack Ruby who shot Oswald was a client and a friend of my boss's. Um, so I think there was a conspiracy. Did you talk about the assassination at work? No, but they had televisions there. They didn't want to talk about it. All of the lawyers sat together and some of their friends came in and they watched. They had another TV in one of the small meeting rooms that the staff could watch. But they did not discuss it. And as soon as Jack Ruby was shown shooting Oswald, which was captured on the phone, my boss walked to my desk and took the card for his restaurant and bar out of the roller deck, ripped it up, and put it in his trash can. Is there anything else that I missed or anything we should know? Well, the Warren Commission said this was a single shot that killed Kennedy and also hit um, Governor Connolly, who was sitting in the front seat, which is ridiculous. There's no way that it could travel down through his head, down through his arm, through his hand, into Governor Connolly's body. I mean, what kind of a bullet was that? There was also what we heard when uh, they were announcing that he had been shot. And they said, oh my God, Kennedy was shot. The immediate news was that he was taken to Bethesda Hospital and he was still alive. Then there was gossip or speculation that he was not in the car. He had suffered severe brain damage and he was taken to Greece to the estate of Aristotle Onassis and shortly after the funeral, Jack Kennedy went to Greece and married Aristotle Onassis. And then the speculation was she did that so that she could be by her husband who was apparently not yet dead. So there are all kinds of conspiracy theories that floated because the government did not release anything that even came close to the truth, or made it sound like the truth, anything that a person could live with. And then, a few years after Kennedy died, Robert Kennedy, his younger brother, became Attorney General in uh, 1969. 
one of his main goals was to eliminate the mob. And he was shot in Chicago. He was murdered to a better with the invasion of Saddam Hussein. So the mob seemed to be involved in Kennedy's life and in Kennedy's death and in Robert's death. 